is Pope and welcome to this week's vlog. I am going to be doing something a bit different than I've done before this week. I'm going to be breaking down an exercise for you guys today that I am using in my programming right now that I've used in the past before and other training cycles that is really helpful towards my leg strength development. About to get started warming up for my workout today. I have some power clean complexes to do, RDLs, push press, and then the exercise I'm going to focus the most on for you guys today is the bicycle squat. This particular squat accessory or squat style really focuses on the quads. For me, quad strength is my weakest link in my weightlifting, so it's important for me to do some exercises really targeted towards that weakness. Bicycle squats are called that because they were initially used by pro cyclists. I guess they're the ones that invented it because cycling is such a quad intensive movement and sport that they need super strong, big, powerful quads. So that's where the name comes from and us weightlifters stole it from them. The bicycle squat is especially good for someone that trains like me in a garage gym, in a CrossFit gym, any situation where you don't have access to machines that are quad focused like the leg press leg extension those things that'll really target individual muscle groups this is a way to kind of work around not having machines and still do squats but focus just on your quads the way that i incorporate this exercise into my training is i do it on one of my non big squat days so for example yesterday i had my big back squat workout for the week and so today, this is like an accessory squatting day. So you can throw these on the end of like a not super hard leg training day and just get a nice little quad pump on and use it to kind of add on to your other bigger squat workouts. This exercise isn't one that you want to like replace your back or front squat workout with. It's something you want to do in addition to those. So the time that you want to do an exercise like this is when you're already doing a bunch of volume. That's what I'm doing in my training right now. I'm doing tons of reps right now, not super heavy weights. I've been doing a lot of tens on the back squat, sixes on front squat. I'm doing all triples in my classic lifts of the snatch clean jerk. So this is a good time to break down individual accessory workouts as well. Stuff like split squats, step ups, all those type of things are I'm really hammering hard right now. This phase of my training, since I'm not competing right now, I'm really focused on muscle and strength gain. Everything I'm doing right now is just to get big. I'm going to get started with my warm up now and hit up my other exercises I have and then I will break this movement down for you guys and show you exactly how to do it.
to what is now my last exercise of the day. I'm ready to start demoing the bicycle squat and showing you exactly how to do it correctly. So the goal in these squats is to get your heel elevated super high, much higher than your standard lifting shoe. And that's gonna really tip all of your weight forward and put the weight of the squat into your quads. First off is your setup. You're going to need a squat rack and a big plate. I am using a 20 kilogram plate. Obviously CrossFit bumpers vary in size, but you wanna find something that is at least two inches high, so that's gonna really tilt that position forward. When you're setting up, unrack the bar and then carefully step backwards up onto the plate and get those heels up super high, square up your hips to the front, headlights forward always when you're squatting, both hip bones facing forward. Then you are ready to begin the squat whenever you feel nice and balanced. To start the lift, we of course want to breathe in and brace those abs as with any squatting. Then you're going to begin the descent of the squat. In majority of lifting, you want your center of gravity over the midfoot. And on this exercise, you wanna make sure all of your weight is right over your toes. Now on these, I have to really focus on breaking at my knees because you're tipped up so high, it's natural to wanna to sit your butt back and that is not how you wanna do these. You wanna be really flexing at the knee joint and the ankles and the entire exercise, I'm really thinking about shooting my knees forward and moving like an elevator. You want your chest to stay upright the entire lift you're not hinging at the hip much at all. It's straight down with the knees and ankles like you could hold a plate on your head the entire lift. That's gonna keep the quads being the muscle group that's taking on all of the work on this exercise. We're not trying to use our butt, we're not trying to use our back on these, it's all front of the leg. That's gonna get that focus of the lift loading into your quads. Something that would be really easy to do as a mistake on these is to bounce really hard in the hole. If you're someone that finds yourself doing that on regular squats, make sure you don't do that on these because there's already a lot of pressure on the knees with these being a front loaded squat. So don't bounce super hard. Keep your control throughout the entire lift. We're not trying to get a big reflex on these. You wanna feel those quads firing the entire way down and the entire way up. So your mind is really important in this exercise too, really thinking like quad, quad, quad the whole time. Another cue that's really helpful on these is to keep your big toe down. That's something I have to always think about in my back squats and front squats because it is not my go-to to really fire my quads well, so I always am thinking big toe down to keep those quads in play. In this workout, I'm doing sets of 12. I'm doing five sets of 12 to be exact. I only use this exercise with high rep ranges because I'm trying to get that pump and get the quads firing naturally, getting used to being recruited. So that transfers over into my full back squat, front squats, cleans, and even pushing off the floor on a pull for a snatch. Your quads are such an important part of weightlifting and they have to be not only strong, but they have to be quick to fire too. Those are the bicycle squats. So I challenge you guys to try these out. Let me know what you think. Let me know how that quad pump feels. Uh, comment on this video if you try them out. And also please do give me some feedback. If you liked this video and found these tips and techniques for the exercise helpful and wanna see me do more videos like this, let me know in the comments because it's something a bit different than I've done before on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next week for the next vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I also had it come to my attention that people were not getting emails when my videos were being published. So make sure you turn on your notifications too. I know that is super annoying to ask you to do, but if you want to get an email when I publish a new video, do turn on those notifications. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me during this workout today. See you soon.